best Bitcoin trading strategies. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. If you've ever lost money in trading, you may want to watch this video till the end. About 95% to 99% people lose money in trading and investing. So to be in the top 5% or top 1% or 3%, you have to be different to what most people are doing. You have to think contrarily. If you remember Bitcoin, how, how you got involved in Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure most people got invo involved in Bitcoin when it went parabolic end of 2017. That's when you heard about about Bitcoin this is when market manipulation happened and you people lost money we've seen it with Bitcoin futures we've seen it with barked we've seen it with Bitcoin halving we always see by the rumor sell the news market manipulation happening newbies and and retail traders buying at the top and selling at the bottom it's happened it's happened before it's it's going to happen in going forward it's human psychology this is why trading is so difficult we have to fight against our emotions the first thing i talk about in trading is risk management and psychology that's the first thing you, you, i could give you the exact strategy but because of human psychology you're not going to make money and it's not just in the higher time frame we see it in the shorter time frames as well guys bitcoin pumps goes one way people get excited then it goes the other way then you look to buy it stops you out and then goes another way so you have to have a contrarian thinking i'll share with you a an indicator that you can use but it's not about an indicator if you think you can just have one indicator and make money you're wrong if people are telling you that <laughs> that's wrong they're probably selling you something it's always guys you have to you need to look at the whole bigger picture you need to see what's happening on price action what the trend is so using support and resistance that's how you trade there's not just one indicator i'll be sharing with you an indicator but it's not just about one indicator it's, it's about price action so the strategy that i use that I teach is you know a trend following strategy we we look to buy pullbacks so we don't buy breakouts like most people we look to get into pullbacks using support and resistance using trend uh, using moving averages there are indicators i use but it's all about candlesticks it's about what price is telling on the hourly daily so that's the first key bit i want to share with you you have to think differently if you just follow what most people are doing you'll be in the 95 percent and it's not an overnight thing i'm not saying you know join my educational group and you know you're gonna make money overnight take my course you're gonna make money it doesn't work like that i won't say that but if you put time in if you put work in you can join our group learn with each other and, and try to grow but it's not just one thing i want to say that very clearly so what is the indicator i'm going to talk about in this video the main indicator i'll talk about is a long short ratio so let me quickly explain to you the long short ratio before getting into it i just want to remind again uh, bitcoin strategies whichever strategy you use you can you can use my strategy that i teach or you can use another strategy but try to think differently think about what uh, other people are thinking as well would people be selling would people be buying you know few people are starting to see this was a parabolic move we should not have been buying a 9400 if it consolidates and we get a set up we could buy it um, but this wasn't a level to buy or when it dumped I actually posted a signal about buying Bitcoin at 4,000 because you know B Bitcoin had dumped so much who's gonna sell most people had probably sold here so think about if you use whatever strategy you use think about what other people are are doing and think about what the price is telling us try to read the story of price action so uh, what is long short ratio the long short ratio uh, represents the amount of security available for short sale compared to amount that is actually short sold the long short ratio can be used as an indicator for a specific security but also can be used to show value of short sales taking place for a basket of securities or the market as a whole the ratio is impacted by the demand of securities borrowing for set short sale by supplying security available for short sale it can be used as market sentiment indicator so this is one of the main reasons we're going to use it so understanding the long short ratio the long short ratio represents the amount of security available for short selling versus the amount actually borrowed and sold so long short ratio is considered a barometer for investors ex expectations with how long short ratio indicating a positive in a uh, uh, investor investors expectation so the again that's just a definition i wanted to read out but the way i'll use it is i'll explain to you very uh, very simply so 
this chart the long short ratio is basically showing long percentage of long uh, percentage of accounts that are long percentage of accounts that are short and it gives you a ratio so at the moment the ratio is 1.36 and most people you'd say is long so what does this indicator mean does 60% mean sell 50% mean sell there's no exact uh, figure that you just buy and sell again like I said you have to incorporate a few different things into your trading so the way you'll do it is you know you go on the hourly and see what the what the market is telling you so at the moment the market's quite I'm um, recording this video on a weekend market if you look on the hourly time frame it's in a sideways consolidation so not much is happening when we see big moves that's when you get uh, extreme fears you see extreme uh, big moves in long short ratio as well so I'll use I'll demonstrate the daily time frame it works really well in scalping and I've got a free video on YouTube as well check that video out it's a scalping video uh, if you use you can use this indicator uh, with my scalping strategy video there's loads of videos I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button you can check out the group if you want but you know our only request is um, you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i put a lot of effort into it so really appreciate if you can like hit the smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so to to, to make my point i'm going to use the daily time frame so let's have a look at the daily time frame we can see a big variance in long and short ratio so we're gonna look at some of these high points and see what's happened to the price so what are the first uh, uh, the point we've seen the highest uh, in the long short ratio was uh nine uh, not point nine eight that was fourth of the 11th so what happened on fourth of the 11th maybe i won't go back to uh, go back to that far but let's let's actually uh, try to get on to the fourth of the 11th so fourth of the 11th we can see it had a bit of a dump so uh, the longs longs were quite high and we saw a bit of a dump let's see on the 14th and 15th what happened so on here guys it's showing that the shorts are quite high so if we are thinking differently the price should go up so we, we think of it as a counter trend uh, again follow the trend i follow the trend but i try to counter what other people are doing because you know most people lose money so if you do the opposite of what most people are doing you can expect to make money that's the that's the understanding behind it so when longs are high we look for shorts when shorts are low when the shorts are high we look for longs that's the basic idea of it it's not just about buying and selling with this indicator it's not that easy but if you look at the context what the price is telling us the high time frame analysis where are the moving averages again whichever strategy you use i personally use a moving average that's the main strategy that i use and i use trend so those are the first two strategies so i followed those two trends and moving average and then candlestick patterns so let's go back to this again this is saying on the 14th and 15th the shorts were quite high let's go to the 14th and 15th So 14th and 15th were these. The next day we saw a huge about 11% move up. Let's carry on. I mean we had a bit of a spike, but the next time we this is you can say that uh, the the long shot ratio is almost at highs again. So let's see what happened here. This is the 21st of April. So 21st of April was this dump. Again, this and these are not going to be exact, but you can use this information to trade positively. And then this is the clear uh, extreme point we've not seen uh, at these levels. So this is a level that you would be interested in. So this is on the 23rd of April. So these ones are not as high. So, you know, it's up to you how you want to use it. Use this information. This is not gospel. Uh, at the start of the video, I said, if you're just, you know, thinking about an indicator to be rich or just one trader, I provide signals in the group and there's been Bitcoin has been great for us we've been longing bitcoin but i i lose trades as well it was great that we won trades but it's not just about one indicator guys you can see how i trade or learn your own strategy but it's about learning over time so let's see what happened on the 23rd of april so 23rd of april 23rd of april was that big move up 
about 15% move up. So this was 23rd of April. Then guys, uh, 25 and 26, we had big, uh, the longs were quite high. This was the highest long ratio we've seen. 25 and 26, what happened? 25 and 26, 25 and 26, nothing happened. So when you see that, you'll be thinking, why is that? Why is nothing happened? That's a question you can ask. And I can tell you that 25 and 26 was probably near the uh, weekend as well. Yeah, 25, 26, actually it was Monday, Tuesday, but you know, weekends are usually quiet on the market, 23rd, 24th, uh, usually on, on the weekends you can see the markets actually. 25 and 26 was the weekend because this was April data. You can see 25 and 26 in the weekend. So you, you could probably be a bit wary of that. So what we saw then, the market were dipping. The shorts are getting aggressive here again on the 28th and 29th. So what happened on the 28th and 29th? 28th, not much happened. 29th, we had that huge breakout. What happened here? People got, are getting excited. Longs are quite high. So we have to see what happens here. So if the longs are high uh, you should not be looking to buy you'd probably be looking for a short setup don't just sell because you've had it you know use the a strategy that you want to learn or whatever strategy you want to learn you could like i said you can check mine out or learn one for yourself you'd need to use a setup you can't just go long and short using that on the five minute time frame i might make another video on a five minute time frame you can actually use that um, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll talk about that at the end of the video the video's already gone quite long but you can see the power of this guys that's why i titled the video the uh, the long shot ratio market manipulation so it's very important to think about what the markets are doing and uh, again if you just joined and people tell you you can be a profitable trader within a day or two that's not possible guys usually it could take up to two years it took me three years uh, before i became profitable and some people can do it quicker some people can be longer and it takes a lot of time mentoring uh, working with people so I'll quickly talk about the five minute time frame as well. So we can see the long ratio is quite high at the moment and we can see the price has taken a little bit of a dump. I personally wouldn't short it. Yeah, I want to see it lose the trend and then look for my trading setup. And if you look at these zones, these are my my trading setup longs using pullbacks when the trend is up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I wanted to really give you this week this long video to explain to you what my thoughts are on, on the markets. It's a very difficult place. It's not a nice place and there's lots of horrible people out there trying to make your money. Big whales and it's not just in Bitcoin and our trade forex and other markets all markets are have heavily manipulated there's wrong news coming out recently you know the job numbers there's been issues with that stocks we just saw the that huge dump in tesla after elon musk tweet we've seen donald trump moving the uh, stock market and oil so this is a very very cruel industry so we have to be very careful with what we do so at the end of the video i mentioned the group as well so if you're interested for less than only 25 dollars you can check out the group there's an educational course as well I'm providing live streams and um, uh, daily updates on what levels I'm looking to buy and when altcoins are going up I'm providing signals so I highly recommend you check it out there's a course as well available so that's why the price is going up so if you're interested highly recommend you check it out I'll leave the website uh, links below if you are interested again I'm not saying you're going to be profitable overnight but if you're happy to put the work in again you can maybe make some money using my signals that I provide but it's more about you working and learning and getting better over time so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it guys and um, smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button comment below your thoughts on it what do you think about these market manipulators being contrarian trying to be in that top one to three percent of traders that actually make money comment below guys and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much